back to digging down metal detecting on this uh, rather miserable rainy day actually um, but it, it's meant to it was meant to rain all day today um, and be quite heavy and thunderstormy but it's really still a nice and just straight down rain and I can handle this any day of the week so <laughs> yeah this doesn't worry me at all um, anyway we're, we're on finally back on my medieval field um, which I haven't I, I just seems like forever since I've been on here um, yeah, just I can't wait. He, what he's done, he seems to have um, shredded up the this is rape stubble. He's uh, shredded it up and then partly sort of turned it over a little bit. It hasn't been drilled yet, um, so there is some stubble sort of still sticking up, which is a bit of a pain. It does catch a coil a little bit. Um, but I have been playing. Um, this isn't that stubbly, but I have been playing with the settings and I've been trying to get you guys and get and for me um, a stubble setting. Um, and I think I've cracked it. I think I've got, you know, I've, I've got it to, because you know how annoying it is when it's false and on the stubble. Every time you touch it, uh, the legend's pretty sensitive. The coils are very sensitive on the legend. They are, it just seems to, well, it really packs a punch. We know that. <laughs> yeah, so I've got some stubble settings that we're going to try out. I think I'll move later on to another field that's, a bit, that's actually not been turned over yet. It's rape stubble. I'll put the LG24 on and we'll go for that and we'll have a, and I'll show you the settings. We'll go through them. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, like I say, yeah, I, I, I've got to get out, haven't I? Even if it's raining, you guys need a video to watch on a Monday night at 6 p.m. <laughs> um, well, I hope you enjoy this, guys, um, and hopefully I don't get too wet. Uh, and I'll I'll see you on that first hole. I can't wait. You will notice it's uh, the machine silent. That's actually because I've got my headphones on. Um, I don't usually wear them, but on the last few uh, group digs, obviously you have to wear them. Um, and I've just found them invaluable, in especially in the wind. Um, and they are amazing. I forget how good these headphones actually are, although they are a little hot in the summer. <coughs> um, but they are brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I've got them on. I've started wearing them a bit. I'll see how I how we get on with them. And obviously, when I get a target, it's easy enough because I can just um, go over to Bluetooth and flick it onto two, and then you can hear the machine, and I can hear the headphones at the same time. So that's very handy for me being a YouTuber. Although weird because I can hear both. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a bit of a niffy there, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so I thought I'll, I'll wear them. I'll keep wearing them. Can hear? I think you can hear more with them. I don't, feel, I don't feel like I've ever missed anything by not wearing them. So just having a look at this. There's a little. I always have a look at flints just in case. Just a little fragment. There's nothing. Um, yeah, just looking for work flints. I did find a flint core on this field once. So they are here. If I keep my eyes peeled, I might find something else. <clears throat> Got a little 16 there. Just have a little dig for that. She's out. Gotta say, just easy, I can just flick. Bit of a pain for me, more work, but. <laughs> This, that's what these videos take. They take a lot of work, so I've got to, I've got to compromise. What have we got here? 16. I thought we were on to, oh, well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I don't know if that's, is it just a, could be just a button. Actually, no, I don't know. Thought it was something else there, but some kind of a ringy type thing. Probably the outer of a, maybe a cloth button. Uh, but yeah, nice low numbers, always with the low numbers. Got a nice 32 here, 31. 
changes a little bit. There's a bit of iron around this. So, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of an iffy one. But, I'll see. It's definitely worth a dig. A big rock in there, I think. <laughs> right, I think it's already out, actually. I don't think it was that deep. It didn't sound very deep. <clears throat> it's quite loud, so... But, a nice signal, so... I've been finding a bit of lead. What have we got there? Is that it? Okay, in the clod there. Uh, is it going to be just trash? Possibly. Oh, I think. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. <laughs> um, not what I thought it was going to be, but... <clears throat> I think that's... I think that's a spoon. Or the end of a spoon handle, or fork handle, one or the other. Uh, and I think it's pewter. It's got a little bit of patterning on it. I don't know if you can see that very well. I don't think we'll go to the other camera for that, but that is, uh, yeah, that's all right. It's probably like my third signal today. Signals are definitely popping. Nice. Oh, I just had this. is actually really deep, this was. I think, yeah, it's lead. It's a bit of an odd one. Um, I've got this as well. I've got this for a gift from um, Swing and Dig Detectorist. I'll put the uh, I'll put I'll, I'll put the link in the description for him. Great guy. Um, he 3D prints stuff. I don't think he's 3D printed the brush. Definitely not. But that's it's a good stiff brush for stuff like this. Um, but he's 3D printed this little uh, like a little pokey uh, stick thingy. <laughs> um, but it's really handy for just cleaning round stuff. Especially, you know, if it's not so delicate, I wouldn't use it on, on sort of coins and things. But stuff like this, perfect. And the brush is lovely and it's got good bristles on it. So, um, but it's on a lanyard as well. You can buy these on his website, I think. Um, <clears throat> like I say, I'll find the link and I'll put that in the description below. Um, but yeah, they are absolutely great. Really, really pleased with that. Good little bit of, good bit of kit. Um, yeah, perfect for this. Give the lad some credit. He's uh, yeah, he sent me a few little bits. He's done some coin stands and things for my displays and stuff. Yeah, really nice guy. So thank you, mate. Thank you for that. Um, but yeah, this I have no idea. Got no idea what that is. It's lead, definitely. Um, yeah, if you've got an idea, guys, let me know. Fairly quiet little. 27 here. Quite whispery. Like I say, I'm listening to these targets in the headphones and then I'm sort of it's quite handy to switch between. Just done a disappearing act that one. Maybe quite shallow or lost that one. Sometimes it does that, I don't know why, just a small object possibly. No, it's still in the hole, I think it fell a little deeper. Sometimes they flip on the sides or... I think I can see it actually, it's in the side there. And you know what, I'm not, I'm not going to move that. I haven't touched it. Let's, uh, Let's get the old phone camera out. I think I lifted it into the side of the hole, but that's where it's sort of stuck. I think it's a coin. Um, it could even be one of the coins, <laughs> Ferdinand. Could be one of those coins from uh, from your neck of the woods, from the Netherlands. I think. Let me have a look here. I think that's what it is. Could be totally wrong, of course. Let's just pluck that off the side here. There we go, guys. Is that what it is? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wow, what is that? Oh, it's a jetton. It is a jetton, and it's an absolute beauty. Ah, oh, um, right. Let me have a bit of a clean up, and then I think I'll come back, because that is beautiful. Ah, watch 
Japanese. Oh, this is amazing. That. I don't call this the medieval field for nothing, you know. This is beautiful. This is going to be a star find today, I guarantee you that. Said that, and as I said that, it's actually got stars on it. <laughs> as you can see, by the way, I've got the hood up. Obviously, it's raining, but these headphones, and don't forget, they're not waterproof. So do not be fooled. Let's say that other brush from Swing and Dig is a bit... Uh, a bit more a bit of a stiffer bristle brush so i'm going to use my detect and wear uk one this is very fine very soft bristles it's brilliant for this perfect perfect choice for this kind of coin that is the best and nicest jetting i've ever found i think that is incredible it's worth spending the time here cleaning this even though it's pouring with rain this is why I come out. I don't care. I don't care what the weather's doing. <laughs> That's stunning. Let's get on that other camera, guys. Absolute beauty. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for this, guys. This is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. And this is the reason we detect. Look at this for a Jetton. Live dig. 27, 28, I think I said. That's Edward on there, I would have suggested. I don't know, I could be wrong, but this is a lovely English jet and you can see his bust. Look at this. That is just incredible. I've had some nice jettons, but that by far is the best. <laughs> it's the sweetest, nicest conditioned jet and I've ever found with a bit of wax on that that is going to be a beaut ah oh, wow <laughs> get in absolutely stunning let's get some photos of that Super duper sweet little 33 here. Absolute beauty of a signal that. Let me turn the camera on. Still in the hole. I'm getting lovely depth today. Really am getting good depth. And she's out. She is out. wet today it's a bit on and off I had a bit of a break a little while ago in the weather but oh this could be nice I'll tell you what if I'm having such a good day on here I don't know if I'm gonna swap fields I might just have to give you the um tell you those set there oh yeah oh, it's a little leather mount oh, I'll tell you what there's some fines coming up today this is incredible this machine is really working well today it's loving this wet that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, what a find again. Just get the brush on there and give that a little. The rain's helping me today because it's uh, washing the dirt away as well. Yeah, that's a beautiful little leather mount, that medieval. Ah, oh, yes. Bronze. Let me get you on the other camera, guys. That's amazing. Look at that little beauty. Still got the little spike on there where it was pegged into the leather. Don't know if it's missing one there maybe. It would have had two I think. Um, look at that. That's beautiful. I don't know if there's a little bit broken off this side. There might have been something else to that, you know. I think there might have been. Possibly. But 
yeah, that's absolutely brilliant. What a find again. Absolute corker. Just run through these settings, hopefully you can see okay. Um, we've got, so, so yeah, these are, these are gonna be my stubble settings, okay? I'll put these in the description below, um, so you'll know exactly what to do, and obviously I'm now gonna show you as well. So, um, yeah, I'm in park mode. I've started using park mode for this stubble. It just seems that little bit more, bit quieter. Um, and we're, what we're trying to do here is make the machine as quiet as possible, but still get good depth and everything else you know you don't want to be losing everything you know um which this is working this is obviously this is working this is what i've been doing today so um yeah so park mode i've got ground set as off ground off uh multi two and my sensitivity i've lowered a little bit but not too much that i'm losing anything you won't you know you can come down to 20 you won't be losing anything not really not depth wise um but it just stabilizes the machine that little bit more um i've actually got it muted at the minute so bear with me but you can see how stable it is just sitting sitting still you can rock it even you know it doesn't it's not really it doesn't really false it's, it's crazy it's so much better um so yeah and the rest of the settings i think i'm, I'm pretty much similar yeah so multi two i went through that um that's me rabbiting on <laughs> um, recovery is an important one I've gone for six six or seven is good um, I found the lower you have the recovery the more it falses so come up a little bit you again you're not losing massive depth I've been getting good depth today again um, so yeah recovery six iron filter three stability three um, audio five this is the uh, Sorry, volume five. Audio gain three, I've left that alone. Um, 60 tone as always, best one. Oh, Magpie, I better salute him. <laughs> um, yeah, he thinks it's great anyway. <laughs> um, tone volume, I've gone for four on the iron. I like that. It's, um, it gives you that, yeah, just, it's just you need to be able to hear the iron. And the others at 10. Uh, tone pitch four again on the iron uh, like it a little bit higher so I can hear it that noisy magpie I'll let him off though I like magpies <laughs> and 22 on the other one um, and then tone break set at eight uh, which is my usual I don't usually change that from eight so uh, yeah we're pretty good there and I think that's about it you're um we're all good um, but yeah, give it a go, guys, and let me know what you think. I'll have a little swing with it now, and I'll just uh, I'll show you how sort of stable it is. Although this is busy, busy ground. So, but yeah, let me know what you think, guys. So here you go, guys. Yeah, this is like I say, it's busy ground, so it's hard for me to show you. But you see how hard I'm hitting this stubble. The false in your hearing is not the stubble that is in the ground. And this is rape stubble. Listen to that. It's not falsing on that. It's only falsing on what's in the ground. Like I say, this is busy, so it's hard to show you properly. But but yeah, you see, you get the idea. Yeah, have a go with it, guys, and let me know what you think, please. Absolutely smashing it today. This is this was an 18, 19, 18, 19. Um, it's a beautiful little watch winder. I haven't had one of these in a long time. It's a little bit bent, but... Yeah, absolutely lovely little watch winder. Look at that. Your little beauty. That's just, I don't know what's going on today. It just, the, the field is just buzzing with, with targets. Ah, oh, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Absolutely love finding these as well, little watch winders. Just need to find the watch. <laughs> what a lovely little find.
nice. A bit of iron in with this, I think, for this. 20. Sounds quite shallow, doesn't it? Yeah, um, I don't think it's that deep. Let me just, I'll just scoop the soil out here. I don't think it's very deep at all. There we go, let me just let you have a listen. Yeah, there was iron. There's iron underneath that. So yeah, we're, we're out and we're a 20, about a 20, 19, 20. Probably a button or button or lead, I reckon. Usually. Still getting wet. I think my coat, I think my coat is getting a little bit wet through the sleeves, actually. Uh, I haven't coated this in a long while and it's been washed a few times so they kind of lose that, they just need a bit of a protection on the surface I think. Uh, what have we got there? Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's a cut half. <laughs> oh. oh I can't believe this. <laughs> I'm doing well on the live digs today. Let's um, let's get on that other camera again. That is amazing. This this field. <laughs> I love this place. Love this field. So much medieval history here. Um, never found much Roman on here, but there's plenty of uh, plenty of medieval. I haven't moved this. Well, I did pick it up. I put it back down, but I haven't cleaned anything. So let's have a little look at this together. There we go, guys. I'm pretty sure that's a cut half. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That is amazing. So that's, that's avoided. That's avoided long cross. Um, so that's a Henry, Henry the Third, voided long cross. Can't make out the mint or money are on there. Could be Nicole. No. No. Not entirely sure, but that's that is a beauty, absolute beauty. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. We are cracking it today. This is this is amazing. I could go home soon, you know. I've had such a good day already. That's just incredible. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Little cut half there, look. Tiny, tiny little thing. We're on the hammered again. Uh, let's just put the volume on again. Another 48. I'm only just moved down the line. I can't see where that hole was, but I haven't moved far from that last signal, that last coin. And we're on to another one. Uh, that was quite deep again. I had to dig quite deep for that. Let's just see, see what we got here. A bit of the imprint there. I'd say so I don't very very often get a full imprint because the soil like as you can see look how sandy it is it's beautiful that's why the condition of most stuff is uh, so good I'm guessing looking at that Britannia on there I'm gonna say it's it's gonna be a George second again I think and this is gonna be quite good condition it's not a George second it's actually a George I think it's a George III. Yeah, it is. Let me um, give her a little spray up for you, just quickly. This video is going to be a long one, I think. We're having such a good day. But never mind, we like a long video, don't we? There we 
Yeah, it's a Georgie third. It's going to be his half penny. Got Britannia there. Just see if we can get a date, possibly. That's such good condition, that is. For the age, I don't think we've got a date. Might be able to see one under there. It's very difficult. Not with the muddy fingers, I'm not. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it does make it hard work in this weather, but it's well worth it. Yeah, we haven't got a date there. I can't see anything. I'm not sure where the date would be on that. Maybe it's not at the bottom of Britannia. But that's in great nick. Especially for a George III. They're not very good condition. Oh, there we go. Date's on that side. 1806, look. It's under the bust. That's a corker. That'll keep clean up a beauty, that will. Lovely. Right guys, well I just had this. It came up between a 28 and a 30. It's only a little beehive thimble, I think. It's a, well, yeah, what they'd call a beehive thimble. It's a very old one. Very, very old. That's medieval. Again, a um, little bit broken there, unfortunately. But yeah, what a lovely little find. Again, we have absolutely smashed it. I don't think I'm even going to be able to fit every clip in. I might have to, some of this is going to be, have to be saved to the roundup, I think. And you'll see it there, but I've had some incredible, incredible finds today already. Absolutely amazing. I'll clean that up and get some pictures, I think. Two here. There's no way I was going to miss that at all. Um, yeah, I've been flicking between my sort of stubble and and um, cultivated settings. I sort of used the both to be honest. Um, but definitely, definitely is working on these stubble settings. It's making life a lot easier in the without the falsen or so much of the falsen. Oh my god. Oh my god, <laughs> this could be a first for me and a bucket lister, and I think it is, it's a silver thimble isn't it? Oh my god, <laughs> albeit very squashed looking but I think we got ourselves a silver thimble, I'm not going to clean that off, I can't believe this. What a day! <laughs> oh my god, the live digs I've got today is unreal. This just doesn't normally happen, but let's let's get on the other camera, guys. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my god! This is a big bucket lister for me. I've wanted one of these for ages, and I was fooled once by an aluminium one. Um, but no, that is silver all day long. Look at that! Ah, oh, so such a shame that's squashed. But that is awesome. That is silver any day of the week. I'm not being fooled this time. That's incredible. What a day, honestly. This is just mad. Oh my God, it's got some patterning on there though. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> that is silver for sure. Don't even need to test that. You can see it a mile off, can't you? That's incredible. That is incredible. <laughs> Bucket list, uh, you absolute beauty. Oh, I'm so soaked. <laughs> Everything's soaked. Oh, that is incredible. Look at that with some patterning on there. I'm not seeing a um, hallmark. Could well be older, but nothing, nothing obvious jumping out at me anyway. But wow, such a shame that's squashed, but I'll take that. That's a silver thimble and that's a bucket lister right there. You beauty.
Right, well, there we go, guys. I'm going to call it a day. Um, and what a wet one has been. <laughs> it's been super wet today. Um, I'm getting a little bit damp. My coat is just not holding out the rain today for some reason. I think I've just not taken enough care of it. <laughs> it's been abused a little bit, but I'll, um, I'll let it dry out and I'll, we'll give it a spray and hopefully it'll, um, it'll hold out. If not, it'll be a new coat, I'm afraid, because I can't be getting wet. Um, but yeah, uh, what a day, what an incredible day. Um, I've just shuttled under this tree here just to just to try and keep out of the rain a little bit. It's actually doing a very good job. It's quite dry under here. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just, I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed today. Um, I think this is probably the earliest I've come away from my permission. <laughs> it's not very late in the day yet. Um, and I'm gonna pack it in and call it a day because I, I just need, I need to leave some for another day, don't I? <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, what a day. These these headphones, yeah, brilliant, especially when it's windy. Um, yeah, um, I'm starting to starting to like them again. <laughs> I go through phases like that, but yeah, I'll I'll keep using them. It's a little bit a little bit awkward trying to swap from this audio to the to the machine, but but it doesn't matter, does it? Um, but yeah, we'll have a look at the roundup in a sec. Oh, don't forget as well, guys. Don't forget um, Dragon Detecting are my sponsor um and you are entitled to 10 percent off when you use my discount code uh digger d10 um yeah go go over and check the website out um and metal detectors uh that you can't get 10 percent off but jordan if you give him a ring and use my code or mention me he will give you 10 10 percent worth of freebies to to make it up uh so that's what a deal what a deal yeah jordan's a great guy go and check him out um and let's have a look at this roundup this is mega so there we go guys look at that what what has gone on today i, <laughs> I couldn't even fit it all in the pot look at it um no way all of this is going to be fitted into the video um so some of these clips will be missing unfortunately um but otherwise it's going to be a super long video isn't it but yeah some of the coins might not make it in i've, I've picked some of the best ones i think i'll put in um but yeah what an array of finds honestly um we've got buttons plenty of buttons and that one that was i thought was a roman coin that really tricked me that one look at that it's even got knobbly bobbles on it like a little roman coin but yeah that got me <laughs> uh huge uh, i'm gonna call it a musket ball probably not it's too big <laughs> um this little lead item still not sure what that is uh could even be a draw handle a lead draw handle maybe <laughs> no i think it'll be something else but not sure on what um just oh, medieval stuff today is just crazy isn't it um that beautiful beautiful beehive thimble i love those absolutely love those that is old um and it's amazing amazing that it's survived that long and only got that little nick on it to be honest um leather mount that's a beauty i love that absolutely love that um little watch winder there silver plated buckle a few thimbles i didn't record all of these uh if any i don't think i got any of those i've got the beehive thimble in um I th like i say i thought i'd save a lot of this to the end to be honest that fancy little bit of spoon handle or fork handle maybe i think that's what it'll be um i didn't film this one either actually i think it's a leather mount it's actually a medieval uh or half of a leather mount um uh, not leather mount <laughs> sorry strap end it's a strap end um goes on leather <laughs> but yeah um just one half of the plate i think the other side is missing there uh which is a shame but um i'll leave that to the end i think i think i'll put that in there look at those bucket listers in there look at that <laughs> coins we've absolutely smashed it we've got two i'm gonna say they're little george second farthings usually um there's two of those um a nice i think that's a william that's a william the third probably a half penny of the gill elms yeah um 1698 there look at the detail on that for that age a nice little george second there it's just oh, i can't believe i just can't believe what's coming up off here today uh george third um half penny another george third but slightly different so you've got two different ones there strangely that's george yeah, it's third, George third, and then George third again. Yeah, 
just make out Georges on the left hand side there. The bust is slightly different, but yeah, well, maybe a little bit of an older one. Um, big, big George third. I'm going to say um, as a penny. It's the late one of the late cartwheel pennies. I think um, it's not thick enough for a cartwheel. It's the ones after one afterwards when they made them slightly smaller. Um, and of course, these little beauties in here. Um, we don't disregard any of this though. I mean, it's just an amazing day, isn't it? But this, we've got a lovely little cut half. Um, avoided long cross Henry the third. Um, yeah, absolute beauty. Love finding those. You know your machine's working well when you're finding stuff like that. Um, I just don't know what to pick next. Look at that for a jetting. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at the detail on that. I'll have to look these up because I don't know um, the exact detail on them, but that is amazing, isn't it? Flipping heck, that's just crazy. <laughs> I nearly swore then. It's just, it amazes me. It just amazes me. How can it come out of the ground in that condition uh, after all of that time? It's probably been in there six or seven hundred years, nine hundred years even, possibly. I don't know. But that is incredible. And of course, a, a bucket lister for me as well. Um, a silver thimble. It's a bit of a mess, but. Who cares? That is, I've just been waiting for one of these to come up for a long time. I didn't think I'd get one to be honest, but there we are. It surprises me again. Every time I go out, I get surprised. Um, and there you go, silver thimble bucket lister. Absolute beauty. It's got a little bit of weight to that as well. It's just lovely. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. What a day. Incredible. I think my coins have been dripped on there. Look, and it's splattered them all. Good job it's not a bird poo. <laughs> Although we wouldn't mind if it was magpie poo, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe it would be good luck. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stand up again, get under this uh, under this here tree. Save you. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day, guys. Um, thank you all massively for watching again. Um, I really, really appreciate it. I love all the comments. Um, uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit, give me the thumbs up, leave a comment. Um, yeah, just helps the helps the channel grow massively, and uh, and I I as I say always, I I really appreciate it. So, yeah, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.